Hey everybody, it's Becca from Fairhaven. Today I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about what it means to work with survivors and how that work looks and what are some of the experiences I've had while working with our survivors, very specifically our adolescents. So um, a lot of the times that we get our clients, we um, respond to them in the hospital. So this is typically, you know, one to three days after the assault has happened. It's very, very brand new. And um, we walk into that hospital room and we start with crisis intervention right there at the bedside. So there have been many times when I've walked into a room and that survivor is alone. Um, we've had instances where, you know, mom or dad, the non-offending parent is dealing with their siblings, trying to figure out what the heck this is going to look like, um, you know, dealing with the trauma, not only with the survivor, but with their family themselves. And, um, you know, being able to be right there with, you know, that 13, 14, 15 year old and saying, hey, I believe you. Because we know that a lot of people are not believed right at the beginning. And being able to offer that to a teenager and start that recovery right there has been awesome. And then we also have instances where, you know, the kid is forced by the mom or the dad or, you know, their non-offending parent to come in and talk with me. Now, I am the coordinator of the program, so all of the intakes go through me. So typically I'm the one who they sit down with and I'm the first face they see when they are talking to someone at Fairhaven. And um, you can ask anybody, if you're 15, the last thing you want to do is go and talk to a stranger about that time that you've been raped. And so, you know, sitting down with them, getting to know who they are at a very personal level, you know, maybe that looks like we listen to Lil Wayne radio while that forensic exam is going, or, you know, we talk about what's going on at school or what TV shows they like. Um, we get to know who they are as a person, because if you don't get to know who they are as a person, nobody's going to want to talk to you about that trauma. And being able to work with these teens who come into this room with a room full of strangers and help build their trust with you, letting them know that we are safe and that this is a safe place for them to talk about their trauma and then watching them as they grow, watching them as they work through the projects, work through the art, work through all of the different things that we do with them during our support groups or our individual sessions, and then being able to sit down with them and having them trust you enough to share their story. And then not only share their story, but become empowered by their recovery, become empowered to the point where they are now looking out for others and stepping in and saying, hey, I remember when I was the new one and here's my phone number and I'm available to you and I want you to call me anytime and becoming almost like a mother hen of the group. It's very cool to watch. Um, it's a privilege to work with our teens. I wish this program existed when I was a kid and um, I'm so grateful to be one of the facilitators of this group and be able to watch the magic happen. Um, so today I'm asking you to click on the link and donate to one of our programs, whether that be Project Anchor or, you know, Aspen or our anti-trafficking program, whichever program, you know, works for you. I'm going to ask that you go ahead and donate because today your donation counts as double. Your donation will be matched for every penny that you give. So even if you donate a dollar, every dollar goes a long way. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my video and I hope you guys have a great day.